Ah, good afternoon. So I'm here with a, a new rangefinder. These rangefinder that I've just got from Optics uh, Optics Warehouse. Um, these are pretty generic. This is called an Elite Essentials, uh, but it's basically a Laserworks uh, LE uh, 032. So I'm just going to do an unboxing, a quick unboxing of this. Show you what's in the box. So it's fairly well packed. It's got foam around it. Uh, this is the actual instruction leaflet. It's pretty basic, but it tells you everything you need to know, uh, specifications and also all the different modes. Um, there is only like really two buttons. There's the mode button and there's the on off button uh, that you start the actual uh, laser ranging with. Uh, when you press the button, it basically constantly ranges, you know, okay. So uh, just read you through the bit of the specifications. Uh, yeah, it's the LE0032 rangefinder. It's got a range of five to 700 meters, uh, accuracy of plus or minus one meter yard. Uh, it's an LED screen. Um, it displays both yards and meters and also uh, miles an hour and kilometers an hour because it, actually, it can actually reach speed as well. The speed range is not to 300 kilometers an hour, by the way. It uses a CR2 battery, just the one, yeah. And it weighs uh, 220 grams, including the battery. And it's water resistant to IPX4, okay. So that's specifications, and um, the wavelength is uh, 905 um, uh, nanometers. So basically, uh, what comes in the box, uh, you get a battery obviously, a CR2. Uh, you get some a sticky pack with some Velcro in. I probably won't use it, I'll probably some, find some other way of, of uh, attaching the rat's tail to my Compato. Um, then you've got three Allen keys. Uh, basically, I'll, I'll explain what they're for when we take the uh, the rangefinder out, and then come out, and the box comes out of the range. So what it comes with is you've got uh, a rat's tail attached here, and it, it's a, it's well attached, but obviously if you if you hit it, you, you'll snap it off. So I mean, on normal use, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Okay, it's got a long lead as well, so you'd be able to attach it to the side of your rifle, and that's your on-off button. So basically. Um, your battery goes in the top, so just unscrew that. You can pop your battery in. In fact, we'll do that now. Very straightforward. So it shows in the side which way it goes, uh, positive down, like so. Uh, screw that in, and this is a, obviously a waterproof cap. Just do it up hand tight because uh, finger tight because what that'll do that'll seal it anyhow. Don't need to over tighten it, obviously. Yeah. So what you do, uh, if you hold this uh, button, power button in, for a second. See, it powers up, okay, and you can hold it for three seconds, like so, it turns itself off. So, second on, so it's really, really on. The, uh, obviously you can see the battery indicator at the top, uh, it's actually set to yards at the moment. If you hold the mode button in, you'll see for three seconds it'll flip to meters, like so, okay. You can hold it like that, and it'll flip back. And then there's different modes, so you can press it and what they cycle through, they cycle through the ranging mode, which is what's in now. Uh, then it goes to uh, fog mode, so it should uh, help uh, using fog. Uh, horizontal mode, I'm not sure what that is, uh, with fog and on its own. And there's a speed mode, so you basically you can flick through, and I don't know where you'll see it, this camera, I'll get it pretty close. So uh, that's fog mode, that's horizontal distance, that's horizontal distance and fog. And that's your speed. And if you hold it in, it'll flip between miles an hour and kilometers an hour. Okay. So basically, you put uh, there's your you laser out, laser in. So you basically, you put it uh, point it at the target, press the button, and you have a little arrow, up arrow, and that, that tells you the laser's operating. So you can turn that. So that that's ranging, and that's off ranging. Okay. Um, it's got these fixed sights on top, which help you set it up, because what you've got here. You've got an adjustable mount. It's a Picatinny or 20 millimeter mount. And what it is, you attach it with those two bolts, which goes onto a bracket there. You can see the bracket in the middle there. And the bracket attaches to these two holes. So the good thing about this one, the early versions, you could only mount it on top. The good thing about this, you can take this bracket off with these two screws, take the actual mounting plate off, and actually attach it to either side of that. So you can actually mount it on the side of a scope. Yeah. Now, my PAD NV008 has obviously Picatinny mounts either side. Um, so I'll plan, my plan is to put this probably on the right hand side. The reason being is that the power button to the PADs on the, 
the left hand side and this, this mount may interfere with that but I'm going to have a play around with that. Um, so yeah what you've got, you've got adjusters so this adjusts the actual, um, if that was vertical that would adjust the up and down angle of the actual um, the range finder and this would adjust the left and right at the front which uh, basically allows you to set the range finder up to your your scope okay and I believe you can also get um, ring mounts as well for this this doesn't come with ring mounts but you can get ring mounts so you can match this onto a, a conventional scope but the reason why I bought this was because my pad um, is not an LRF uh, and the LRFs are quite about 250-300 pound more than the standard uh, 008 and I've also got two ATMs uh, and I have no range for that so with this I can I can mount it on the side of my ATMs if I want to on my X sites and I can also attach it to my pad so I don't need two range finders for two different scope types of scopes I can just use the one range finder and just adjust it and zero it as and when I need it okay but this will this will almost certainly stay on my pad because uh, the pad is about half the weight of a, an ATM and I'll probably be using the pad much more when I go ratting and things like that so yeah um, the uh, the battery life is really good. I mean, I shall be running a test on this. I shall be um, setting it up uh, at night uh, with the pad and uh, zeroing it up, and then doing some tests and see how it works. Okay, so that's a bit a quick insight to the actual uh, the zero uh, three two as it's called, or the laser works, or whatever uh, branding they put on it. But at the end of the day, it's basically it's the same thing. Just turn it off, hold the button in. That switch off, okay. Uh, yeah, so it seems very well made. It's it's not particularly heavy. It seems lighter without the bracket, the mounting bracket, but um, and it's it's all metal. So uh, unless you really abuse it, you know, especially the lead. I mean, that's the only, really the only, I think the only weak point. If you catch catch it, you could actually, you know, if you hit it, you could actually break it off. But the actual mode button is very positive. The on/off switch is very positive as well. So you know, you're not going to accidentally turn it on and off. So yeah, um, just a, another close-up of it. So that you take those screws out. Yeah, you've got screws there, blanking screws. So you can take that off. There's a bracket in between. You just see it in there. And you take that off and you put it on the other side you want and then you attach your mounting bracket back onto it. And the actual blanking screws go in the holes that are left. So yeah, so that's, uh, that's the 032. So yeah, it should work very well. Um, no, no, uh, I've, Read a, seen a, a few reviews, video reviews on this, and it's, uh, it's supposed to be uh, a pretty useful bit of kit. It seems to work very well. So uh, when I've tested it, I shall uh, let you know. Thanks for watching.